and welcome to your show Identityism Club, where we're talking about the issues of 16 days of activism and where I am hosting Ambassador Van Helmond uh, of the Netherlands Embassy in Zimbabwe. And we're also joined in this segment by Nyasha Mazango from Sasa Project. Welcome, Nyasha, to this show. Thank you very much. Right. Ambassador, before we went on the break, we, <clears throat> you had actually spoken to us about how in the Netherlands, one in every three women go through the unfortunate of harassment. What is the government? First of all, actually, I am surprised because these are the same figures here in Zimbabwe and we're thinking, wow, how does it happen to the first world? But I want to find out what the government of the Netherlands is doing in addressing gender-based violence against women in the Netherlands. Yes. Well, just to point out that I think the severity of the yes. harassment is different, different between exactly. uh, the Netherlands and Zimbabwe. How do you mean about that? Um, I think that uh, the harassment in Zimbabwe is more physical and also more sexual. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You can. That's based on the statistics. I, I agree yeah. because I've yeah. had the opportunity to travel. But please go ahead. Yes. In how the the government is addressing that. Well, first of all. Um, a government addresses it through um, a, a public conversation mm -hmm. about the issue. Right. Um, so that's being done by our government. Um, for example, um, we are also um, doing the, the 16 days campaign yes. in the Netherlands. Yes, yes. We've also lit mm -hmm. uh, um, our parliament nice. orange. Um, right. So just to, to get the conversation going in the Netherlands as well. Mm -hmm. um, second part is the um, legislative uh, right. uh, process, uh, getting laws through Parliament that can actually, well, hopefully address this issue. Mm. Uh, and then the third is access to justice, right. so that victims of harassment uh -huh. can actually um, address their problem and they can uh, confront um, the perpetrator. You mentioned about lighting the parliament yes. uh, in the Netherlands orange, and I know you did an awesome job in the Zimbabwe for the first time, I think. Yeah. I was, our government, uh, they lit our own parliament together with you guys. You lit it orange. And by the way, viewers, orange is the color for gender-based violence. It's used across the world. And in Zimbabwe, we also do have, um, we, we, we recognize the orange and the United Nations also recognizes the color orange to talk about gender-based violence against women and girls and also sometimes men. Um, and wow, that was fascinating. Uh, but what are some of the efforts? I know the government of the Netherlands has invested so much in developing our country and also addressing gender-based violence in Zimbabwe. What are some of the initiatives that you've been doing during the 16 days of activism other than lighting the parliament? Ah, well, during the 60 days of activism, it's purely actually the campaign and campaigning yes. and getting uh, the word out yeah. that we have to talk about gender-based violence. Right. Um, so apart from litting the, uh, the parliament... Uh, last Monday, uh, and it will be lit in orange for the for the whole sixteen days. You um, be lighting what? No, no. The, the the parliament is lit orange, but it's not only on Monday, but it's the whole sixteen oh, amazing. days. Amazing! Yes. I think people should go so to check, parliament. Check it out. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's amazing. Awesome. And I'm wearing this dress every day now <laughs> for sixteen. Days. I saw you on weekends, <laughs> and we have this now. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah. And apart from that. Um, we wanted to um, ask some attention for the sung and unsung heroes right. of gender issues in mm -hmm. Zimbabwe. So what we've been doing for the 16 days, uh, we've been handing out flowers to... Um, Am I getting a, a gender, flower? I've been gender. seeing those pictures. <laughs> Beautiful initiative. Yes. yes, our gender champions. Wow. So we've identified 16... Mm. Champions. Uh, gender champions. Uh, some of them are well known, some, right. of, some of them are not known. Mm -hmm. um, so we would like to send the message around saying, okay, anyone who actually addresses gender issues, mm -hmm. men and women, right. um, are eventually seen and should be, um, and well, we would, we would just want to show our respect for the work that they've been doing. I think um, I've been in groups where some women have received flowers. I think that was very <coughs> thoughtful of you to just say we see you because I think women activists around, they're abused in their communities and they're told a lot of hateful things. And sometimes 
we are not recognized as much. And so thank you for recognizing the men and women who are doing amazing work in yes. Zimbabwe. Um, but I know that you've been doing a lot of work with Msasa. Yep. So Nyasha, tell us about the Zimbabwe situation. Um, what is the gender-based violence like? The prevalence, I know there's a lady who was killed in Gweru recently. Yes. Uh, a she's a lawyer. Yes. Uh, Miss Dube was yes. killed by her boyfriend in a crime of passion, mm -hmm. unacceptable, mm -hmm. and may her dear soul rest in peace. We've got such cases. What is Msasa doing and how? Have, what have you been doing also within the 16 days of activism and beyond around gender-based yes. violence? Yes, a lot of work has been going uh, along uh, uh, gender-based violence. Mm -hmm. And uh, in Zimbabwe, the severity of this issue is too high. Mm -hmm. um, we were talking about one in three uh, right. being abused every day, but you also find that it, even 24 women are raped a day, wow. in a day, like each hour. So you find that uh, the situation is, we, when we try to, 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 to improve the situation, but you keep on getting cases of uh, very severe cases of mm. uh, violence. And um, the, the case that you have uh, alluded to, it's not just one. Mm. It's only that one that we were able uh, to record on that day. Mm. But you find that even there are more women that are killed. There are more women that are raped. And together with the Netherlands uh, embers, we have tried to to advocate for the survivors of rape, and we have indulged in a rape campaign uh, yeah. this uh, 16 days. Mm -hmm. And the 16 days to us, they give us a chance to, 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 to bring to spotlight mm -hmm. the issues around gender-based violence. And we are saying we want to shout, mm -hmm. and we had made plans uh, to bring the private uh, to the public. Right. People don't talk about rape, and that is, uh, we, we are finding that you find somebody who has stolen a cow, that is a common mm. example mm. that we use. They know they will get nine years if they mm. are caught. Right. But somebody can rape and tell you, I'll kill you, mm. because they know no, no one might even catch them. Mm. So we find that uh, the cases of rape, uh, when this, when, during this time, we want to say it out. If you can act to stop rape and sexual violence. Uh, so when we want to say, please, the public should know mm. that this is um, a crime and rape can be reported, mm -hmm. and someone who has been raped can uh, have a normal life uh, moving forward and be empowered thereafter. We don't want them to remain as a victim, mm -hmm. but we want them to survive this situation. Uh, this has happened, but we would say uh, it's time to stop it. Mm -hmm. That's why we are to stop looking it. to, stop yes. It. Stop, stop it. Stop the rape, stop the violence, stop the harassment yeah. of women. Yes. But you've said something profound, Nyasha, where you said... Paka, Paka Urawa, um, the lady from Gweru, do they? You are saying that that's the only that was recorded. <laughs> Otherwise, there are many. Yes. And this year's theme is Hear Me Too. Yes. What does it mean as we wrap up this? Yes. Uh, it means that um, when we don't speak out around uh, rape, there are a lot of ways that has happened. People have been silenced. Mm. Um, some activists have been silenced. Msasa wow. have been silenced wow. this, during these 16 days. We wanted to take this up in a way of displaying women's underwear. Yeah, but I we remember. were told it's uncultural. It's, it's, it doesn't, mm. it will not work. So we had to change to display skirts. But the message is the same. Mm. So you find that um, the, people don't want to talk about it. People don't want to talk about abuse. Uh, when something happens, when people, then when it, it comes to public, people are saying, ah, but she's been quiet. Why wasn't she talking mm. about it? It, it doesn't mean that uh, the lawyer was killed on that day. The violence began that day. Mm. It, has, it could have gone uh, over a long period, but no one talks about it. So it means that when you see somebody who is being violated, it's time to share, say it out mm. so that they can get help before I it's too see. late. Hanzi, 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 Nanyasha. It's been happening and we are being silenced. And across the world, women are being silenced. But in a freedom of speech and expression in this country, I don't know why people will be denied 
to express your mabugu achoni ari kukumurwa vakadzi vachirikwa it is shocking that we can do silence in that manner but when we come back from the break we will talk about how you and i can be the change in our communities to make sure that it never happens again stay with us don't go away <laughs> <laughs> 